double up. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. What's going on, y'all? It's TKO, Sneaks in the Fox, with Sneaker Fox, Sneaker Watch. We got a review for y'all, and I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. And hopefully my past videos have been able to entertain y'all or just give you information on sneakers. Uh, during this time, this crazy pandemic that we're all going through, and so at least hopefully you're just getting additional content. If you're a sneakerhead, you love sneakers, want to get to know about sneakers. Hopefully, especially Puma, because most of my reviews are about Puma, but today I am doing something different. It's not a Puma sneaker, but it is a sneaker that I have fell back in love with. Uh, about six, seven years ago, I was on these sneakers hard. And then I got a pair for my daughter. I seem like, man, I'm back in love with these sneakers. So that's the review for today. So without further ado, let's take a look at the sneaker. Come on, boom. Converse. I have fell back in love with the Chucks. I love them. Just fell back in love. But this is just not your regular Chucks. This is actually the Essentials. So this is the Fear of God and Converse collaboration. So let's see what we have here. This particular colorway is your natural ivory and black. This is the Chuck 70 High. So let's open the box and take a look at these beautiful sneakers right here. Actually, you got the matching outfit. It's your ivory colored pocket t shirt. So, so I'm actually going to be doing some uh, pictures today with these sneakers. So, but anyway, let's take a look at these sneakers. Like I said, this is your ivory and black colorway. Beautiful sneaker. That is beautiful. I know you see that. I know you see that. Man, beautiful sneaker. So, what you have here, we'll start at the... What are we going to start at? Let's start at the, the front of the sneaker. We're going to start here. We have a black toe, rubber toe, which is typical for your Converse Chucks. And then going up the middle is a black leather tongue. So it's a real good material and it's a black leather tongue. So this is like what's different. This is what set it off for me. Uh, it's the black leather tongue going all the way up the middle. Um, let me unlace them for you. Like I said, I don't do any editing cuts or none of that. I don't do that in my videos. I just go straight through it. Uh, I'm not going to do it, unlace it too much because the way they got it laced here, um, it takes you back to the 70s, 60s, uh, how they would wear their Chuck Taylors, um, their Chucks, the wrap, the shoestrings around the top on the heel. But what uh, Jerry, um, Jeremy Lorenzo has done is he put a little hole in here right here uh, so it makes it easier for you to turn uh, the laces around the sneaker and you don't have to worry a loop right here so you don't have to worry about the laces going up and down and moving it's got that loop right there which is real secure to put the laces through uh, so that's what i really like uh, about the sneaker let me just loosen it up a little bit so we can look at that leather tongue that was like the main he kept it really simple you know he didn't do too much and i think sometimes simplicity is the best it does come with black laces i don't know how this would look with black laces um, you know, the black laces that an extra set of black laces it came with. I don't know how it will look on there since it already has a black tongue. I don't know how it will look with these uh, extra black long laces. Let me take them bad boys out. But uh, let me unloosen it so we can go ahead and take a look at the black leather tongue. There you go. Here's the, the black leather tongue. And I think that really gives a nice contrast to the sneaker. You have your black rubber going all the way around the sneaker right here above the midsole. And then right here on the midsole, starting from right here, you have your uh, your black line as well going all the way around the sneaker. Then the typical holes right here for the breathability of the sneaker. So you get that air running through the sneaker and everything. Uh, on the inside, uh, we have... It says Converse on the inside. 
boom, 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 boom. You see it. Then your typical badge right here. You got your Converse Chuck Taylor 70. Uh, it's a dope sneaker, real dope. But this is your right foot, and it's a little couple differences on the left foot. Everything's the same on the left foot. Here's a other extra. I'm not going to put these black laces in here. I just don't see the point of the black laces when you already got a black tongue. So I'm not going to put black extra long black laces in there. That's not going to go in there. Let me unloosen these bad boys up because I am going to wear these for the shoot. So the main difference on these, everything else the same. Black tongue, as you see right here, going up, which is a dope, like I said, real nice contrast. And you got the black lines, top, bottom, all the way around the midsole. Same Chuck Taylor badge right there. The difference on this sneaker is the license plate. On the license plate, you have Essentials and you have uh, Fear of God. But this is... Uh, Fear of God collaboration. Essentials is one of Jeremy Lorenzo's lines uh, under his Fear of God. Uh, that's one of his capsules. And so that's the capsule that he decided to go with this sneaker. And this is the type of color that they use for the capsule. And I think it's just a real, real dope color. And like I said, the, on the license plate, it's different. You got your Essentials Fear of God. And then on the inside, is different as well. Because on the inside... You have your essentials, fear of God as well. So that's the main difference on the two sneakers that's on the left side is the license plate. You have the essentials, fear of God. And then on the inside, you have your essentials, fear of God as well. I know it's a little bit different. Usually a lot of content you see from me is Puma, but um, there are that doesn't mean that I don't like other brands. And this is the Chuck Taylor is just a sneaker that I really love. It's a classic. And I'm just a person that I do love uh, classic sneakers. So just like, comment, let me know what you think about this collab sneaker. Do you like it? Think they could have done better? I personally think the simplicity of it, it's essential. And think about our times right now that we're going through where you can only go to essential places and where only people who work essential jobs can go to work. Kind of fits these times. Nice, simple, ivory white with the black. Very simple touch to it he didn't do too much i like like i said i like this loop right here uh that's uh, another key component that he threw on here is this loop right here so like i said back in the 70s they would like double wrap uh the laces around here so and that's a nice touch to have that loop right there so you make sure it stays in there and it doesn't go up and down so like comment subscribe let me know what you think about these beauties right here i am on instagram twitter at sneakers and the fox YouTube, Sneakers and the Fox, Sneakers and the Fox, Sneakers and the Fox, Sneaker Watch. That's what you're tuned in, doing this review. Peace. Double up, three or four times, I ain't telling no lies, I just run it up.